to get situated. All right, so um, let's see what your energy is like today. Let's see what's going on for you. Um, the moon is still in Cancer, so let's see what that means for everyone. I feel like emotions could be coming to the forefront, you know, things that we need to feel and, um, and let go of. You know, I feel like feelings are meant to be let go of. You know, you're meant to feel them, experience them, learn from them, and then grow on to your next lesson. <laughs> yes, I said grow on to your next lesson. Alright, so. Water your garden. Nourishment, body care, tenderness, and rest. So you're being called to really take care of yourself. Um, and if you have a garden, um, nurture that as well. Um, I know it's fall, um, but there's still things that we do in the cold seasons to prepare the soil for spring, <laughs> you know. Um, a new earth, it's happening, keep holding the vision. So whatever you're trying to manifest in your life right now, Stay true to that, you know, stay optimistic about that. Don't let fear, doubt, insecurity get in the way of that. Uh, high Wraith, longing for home, homesick for the stars. So, you you feel like you're, you're made for more than this, you know, made for more than what you've gotten in life. You feel that you still have milestones to reach. Um, I'm going to pull this deck because it was leaning, leaning towards me. So, um, yes, this is my Muse tarot deck. Um, so, I definitely feel this energy of, like, trying not to overextend yourself. Um, because as we manifest, the, the whole point of manifesting is to have effortless attraction, right? And so working less and getting more kind of energy. Um, so let's see, what are you manifesting and what does, what does this new cycle hold for you? Hey, go back. gangsters all right so I'm gonna read it how I'm seeing it we have muse of swords right this is our muse of voices um I like using the original suits names because I feel like it makes more sense um they are the ones changing it up not me um <laughs> also I'm a fixed sign so I like certain things to be the same <laughs> um and the suit names is one of those things. But uh, with the Muse of Swords, it's really telling me that, like, people may be inspired to anger, feeling triggered, feeling the sword coming down. You know, there could be uncomfortable, like, conversations, conflict even with the Five of Swords. And um, I'm seeing a lot of this in your recent past, because as we move to, toward the center, it really starts showing, you know, where you're more presently at. With the Nine of Swords, too, I feel like this really guarded energy around you. Um, Nine of Swords is, like, all up in your head, overthinking problems, um, playing out scenarios in your head, ruminating thoughts, you know things that keep you up at night, and, um, with the Six of Swords in reverse, a lot of this has to do with something that you've 
kind of refuse to let go of despite your better judgment with the high priestess showing up your intuition is guiding you towards something more favorable right with the wheel of fortune coming up it tells me inevitably you know this tide is changing and things will get better um the problem is though is there's a bit of stubbornness, okay? <laughs> and uh, I'm only laughing because I get it. Um, you want things your way or the highway. And right now I'm feeling that the highway might actually be the better option for you, whether you realize that or not. Um, Five of Swords tells me, you know, with the Five of Swords and Nine of Swords showing up, this tells me... and. I just realized there's a lot of swords. You could be an air sign, um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But what I'm really gathering here with all this is that these challenges are coming up for you to address them, right? The karmic relationships are there for you to address the lesson. Um, situationships, you know, work problems, those kinds of things, any kind of thing that is, like, triggering you at this moment, um, it's triggering you for a reason, that's your intuition t responding, right, when you're feeling triggered, that's your intuition responding to a situation or a person, and if you're, if a certain person makes you constantly, or situation, whatever, makes you feel constantly in your fight or flight, like you constantly feel this defensive energy or all up in your head or things just aren't right, that's when it's the best time to check your surroundings and say that you're not around people who are influencing these uh, karmic conditions, right? Because like, when we spend a lot of time with people, we really take on their karma. Um, in a lot of ways, right? So, and they become a part of our karmic cycles as well. So, if you're around really negative people, people who are constantly struggling, you're going to recognize those same patterns in your life. If you're around optimistic people who keep winning at life, you're going to start seeing more of that, right? And I feel like once you really listen to your intuition about your situation, things will be changing for the better. Right, the Wheel of Fortune is a wheel for a reason because it's rolling, right? It, it's shifting, it's changing. And if you were at the bottom of the wheel for a while, you're, you're coming to the top. Um, and I do see, you know, fortune favors the bold. So if you boldly pursue um, success in life, then things will work out in your favor. Um, I do have the inclination to tell you that, um, you should, you should really study the millionaire mindset, you know, um, really look at how successful people behave, their habits that they have, you know, things that they have in common with one another, and then see what unsuccessful people have in common, right? And then really weed out the kind of behaviors or traits or, you know, whatever that you've adapted over time, right? That's something that really helped me um, to just have a better, like, mindset altogether. Like, to start being more successful. <laughs> um Let's see. What else is there for you? Ace of Pentacles is showing up to tell me that you are definitely taking on um, a new role or a new cycle. You're 
embarking on a new journey altogether. Seven of Cups tells me that you have options in regards to love, right? Seven of Cups tells me that you're an attractive energy. And one thing that's really cool about being an attractive energy it means that you attract more than just people. You attract um, the energy of money. You attract the energy of abundance. You know, people, you know, and if you stay in that energy, that high vibrational energy, that attractive energy, it really helps better your outcomes, right? You start being chosen more for the promotions, for the raises, the upgrades. Um, Nine of Pentacles tells me that you do really well on your own, like, um, independently. Um, I feel that you might even be challenged to have a time of really understanding, like, these challenges come up to show you what you're made of, right? And you might be faced with these challenges to see that you can actually make it alone. Like, as much as you might not want to be alone, sometimes we need to know that we can make it alone so that we don't end up stuck in codependent, like, unhealthy, toxic relationship patterns, you know? Muse of materials, yeah. See, Muse of pentacles means that right now, kind of like what I was saying, you're an attractive force. The, your spirit guides are trying to guide you, right, through your intuition to more abundant situations, more abundant scenarios. It's like all the struggle that you've recently faced was there for a reason, and it was there to show you exactly what you don't need anymore and exactly what you should be aspiring towards eight of cups in reverse with the six of swords in reverse tells me that there's still something that you struggle to walk away from something that you need to walk away from ten of swords in reverse this is kind of like asking if you need to be completely defeated by your situation before you choose to walk away um Because I feel like inevitably things get worse if you don't walk away from circuit, certain karmic conditions. Um, Queen of Wands is showing up to say that, I mean, this here's more of that attractive energy. Um, but... The Queen of Wands is somebody who's kind of in the spotlight. Somebody who radiates truth and warmth and comfort, right? And so, and the Queen of Wands is somebody who lives her truth, who faces, confronts her truth, and lives in according to that, or in accord, whatever, in accordance with that. Um... There's been a lot that you've had to overcome to get to where you're at. But I feel this energy that there's a cycle that you don't want to bring to an end. It's like keeping the door open. Muse of Wands tells me that you're divinely protected. And the reason that you're being inspired to walk away from a certain karmic conditions is because you've learned the lesson. Once the lesson is learned, that, that connection or that cycle is no longer necessary, right? Um, instead, it could be more damning, you know, because part of the lesson is knowing when to walk away. Also, the, the Queen of Wands is a creator, an artist, right? I feel that that's something that you should be focused on, your creations, your talents, what you bring to the table. We have Eight of Swords, right? Eight of Swords is like that self-imposed prison. It's like there's something that you don't want to see your face, you know? The chariot in reverse, cancer energy. This is saying, you have Pisces too. 
Uh, but this is saying that, like, This is pro like getting in the way of your movement forward, right? With the Eight of Cups in reverse, the Chariot in reverse, and the Six of Swords in reverse, it's like something is prohibiting you from moving forward, right? And Five of Cups in reverse is like... This situation was here to help heal you from emotional disappointment, you know? It wasn't meant to be something that you held on to, to continue experiencing emotional disappointment. You should look up Carl Jung's uh, study of the anima and the animus. Um, I feel that that could really be useful in on your journey, what you're working towards here. Understanding that certain roles, certain things had to be played out a certain way for a purpose, not because you're meant to chase it forever. Justice in reverse, Libra energy. It's throwing you off balance because it's like you want your cake and you want to eat it too. You want to have this connection, but also you want to have your full independence. And what. But it's kind of like implying that, like, the separation from this connection is to help you to gain your independence and to know that you can make it on your own. You don't need to rely on anybody else for that. Nine of Wands, the Wounded Warrior. Um, <clears throat> this is like feeling hurt or, you know, you already had Nine of Swords too. So it's this energy of feeling, um, ready for a connection that you don't feel you have to heal from, right? Ready for something that flows. I feel that you do yourself want a certain connection or you want to have things play out a certain way. Um, you have to understand the lesson too. We have Seven of Wands, which tells me that new opportunities and doors are opening for you at this time, and you need to be free for those with the Knight of Swords in reverse. Um, it's also saying, you know, don't be too quick to make, uh, to take action or to make big decisions, like, Really give yourself that time, especially with the Queen of Wands, to, like, really think things through and really, um, really sort out, like, your best case scenario. Because with the, with the Seven of Wands showing up, that tells me that there's just so many doors of opportunity. You need to be able to look at all of your options and then make your best educated decision based on that. Um, but if you're too focused or too fixated on one cycle, you might not, you might miss an opportunity. My child's grunting in the background. Seven of Pentacles, yeah, so this is like saying that it's a time for you to start harvesting your abundance, right? So right now you're folk, like, and you have seven, 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 seven of cups, seven of wands, seven of pentacles. 
And this is really saying that it's a time for you to really take matters into your own hands and and focus on, you know, your financial abundance, focus on, you know, having certain needs met and, you know, if you're looking for a new place or a new car or whatever, you need to prioritize those over, um, like, romantic connections at, the, at this time. It's really telling you to, like, put everything into perspective and prepare yourself for what's to come next, you know? like getting all your ducks in a row so that you're prepared for that kind of commitment or connection four of swords in reverse says it's not a time for rest and relaxation it's a time to really put in your hard work and effort towards the life that you want right it's making sure that your resourcefulness is or to make sure that you're tapping into your resourcefulness you know at this time Knight of Wands in reverse with Temperance in reverse, Sagittarius energy. This is like saying like you're getting impatient waiting for the circumstances to be right or you're getting impatient waiting for something. Um, it's this energy of waiting, right? Especially with the Knight of Swords in reverse, Knight of Wands in reverse and it's like you can't wait for life to hand you the perfect conditions. You have to use what you have at your disposal now to create the perfect conditions for yourself. Um, this is part of tapping into your internal God energy, your goddess energy, you know? Like really creating the life that you want for yourself and then introducing people into your life from that perspective of already having what you need so you're not relying on anybody else to take care of your needs Pentacles in reverse this tells me that yeah right now you need to be more focused on your finances and your resources I feel like you have everything at your disposal you have everything that you need to for your creations your divine inspirations but anything that distracts you from your creative processes or things that distract you from getting to your next level will be will be taken out of, you know, the equation, and it, not in, like, a threatening way, just, you know, in an, in, in alignment way, <laughs> um, because your path is divinely protected, right, you, there are things that you're here to accomplish, and you, you can't have distractions from that, with the Empress in reverse, yeah, there's certain creations, talents, you know, skill sets that you have, um, that you're able, like, I see that you're able to create universes and anything that slows down that process, anything that takes you away from your growth mindset is, you know, not going to be participating in your life for this season or whatever. Two of Pentacles, this is making big decisions and really thinking on what is the most important decision to, have, to make at this time, you know. Queen of Swords in reverse. Um, you're still in that, and you're still in that energy of, you're very stubborn <laughs> uh, of wanting your cake and eating it too, right? It's like, you want, you want this connection, even though it does inhibit your growth or your path at this time. Let me see, I'm gonna, it's the... Uh, kind of funny. I understand it though. It's 
you know, ultimately up to you what you choose to do. How far you choose to be set back is going to be... Wait, how did I... Like, it's your choice if you want to accomplish something faster or sooner. Or faster or slower. Sorry. <laughs> Words. I don't know them. Um, so, yeah. So... This is an energy of, like, how quickly do you want to accomplish what you're trying to accomplish? <laughs> By Ravi Yogini, face your fears for it is the right time and you are ready to overcome them. You will be given the power to fulfill your heart's desires. Embrace your path with confidence. Healing around belonging and abundance is taking place within your soul. You are spiritually protected from toxic energies. Recognize your inner divine badass and commit to your dreams with convictions. It's pretty much what I was saying. Shadashi. <laughs> Shadashi cleanses the soul from past hurts. Her presence indicates recovery and a reclaiming of dignity after experiences of being judged, betrayed, or criticized. If your innate being has been put down in any way, or if there has been bullying or nastiness directed toward you, Shudashi brings healing and renewal, so you can rise above and lay claim to your innate beauty and worth. Nitya Kali through journeying within, you will gain energy, insight, and freedom from the constraints of what has been. Allow, what, allow that which needs to end to do so. You shall realize that you are not being denied, but released. There is something new on the horizon for you. Honor your losses, but keep hope in your heart for what is meant to be. That's pretty much what I was trying to say. So yeah, um, I hope this was helpful. Namaste. I love you guys, and I'll catch you later. <laughs>